Okay, so it is time to check the back of our other worksheet from last week. So you need to have that out with a checking pen, um, a highlighter as well. So our title, you should have highlighted singular and plural possessive nouns with apostrophes. Okay, we know singular means one, plural means more than one. So you can label those on your sheet. And then possessive means shows ownership, something that someone has. All right, a possessive noun shows ownership. You already know that. To make a singular noun possessive, you just add an apostrophe and an S. That is what you usually do to show possession. The book of the teacher becomes the teacher's book. It is one teacher, and if you use your finger to cover it up from the apostrophe on, you still have one teacher, one teacher's book. To make a regular plural noun possessive, just add an apostrophe. Because it's plural, it already has the S on the end. So therefore, you just put the apostrophe after the S, and that way you can tell that they're talking about more than one teacher. Because if you cover it up from the apostrophe on, you still have teachers. To make an irregular plural possessive, you just add apostrophe s. You don't need to put the s on the end because it's already, we know children is plural. We know it's more than one child. So you can just add apostrophe s. Cover it up. And it is still children. It's still plural. Okay, so write the possessive form of the underlined word on the line by adding an apostrophe or an apostrophe S. We have Carl favorite toy is broken. Well, Carl owns the toy. So to show that, we have Carl apostrophe S. Number two, we saw the queen's crown at the museum. Oh, I'm sorry, the queen's crowns. They are talking about more than one queen. So we already have the S on the end, therefore you just add an apostrophe to show that it's more than one queen that we are talking about. Chef Carter cut the strawberries tops off. Well, he's not cutting the top off of one strawberry. He's cutting the top off of many strawberries. So it already has the S on the end, add an apostrophe. You can cover it up, you still have strawberries. The mother baby began to cry. So basically, the mother's baby, we are talking about one mother, it only has one mother, All right? So then we put an apostrophe S yes because it's only one. The mother's baby began to cry. My neighbor newspaper is soaking wet. Well, we're only talking about one neighbor. So you put neighbor, apostrophe S. If you were talking about more than one neighbor, then it would go after the S. Five zebra stripes. It's more than one zebra. So the S goes with the base word. Add the apostrophe afterwards. Five zebras. Place Carla Easter egg on the table. Well, it's only one Carla. So put Carla, apostrophe S. Still just one Carla. The clown's noses were red. It's more than one clown. So we had the S already on the word. Add the apostrophe afterwards. Clowns, more than one clown. All of the women voices were heard. Well, women is an irregular plural because it's already plural. So we just put women, apostrophe S. There it is, still women. Today is my parents' wedding anniversary. It's more than one parent that we are talking about, so we put the S on the end. It's parents, apostrophe. Still more than one parent. I found the policeman whistle. They were talking about one policeman. Put policeman, apostrophe S. That's it. Okay, and I just wanted to say um, that there's something to be added here. 
um, to something that we started last week. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you weren't really watching your videos last week. So I would like for you to get out your piece of paper and add the words over and over again. That's it for checking your worksheet. You do need to go to the side table and get your um, next worksheet to complete front and back. Um, if you don't finish it in class, just finish it for homework and keep it in your folder.